Hey everybody, this is Brian with Bear Cards 34 back with another throwback video. Uh, today we're going to be looking at Action Packed. So this is one of the brands that came out uh, just after Topps had been the only football card producer for many years. In 1989, Pro Set and Score uh, jumped into the mix and Action Packed did as well, only just a little bit. Uh, to kind of show you how things started off, they decided to do a test set and they picked three teams, obviously the Chicago Bears because they were smart, honestly. So we have Mike Singletary here and if you look, this is 1989. A year later, 1990, when they put out a full set with every team, uh, they used the exact same design, front and back you'll see there. Uh, so yeah, so with this card set, we had 10, I think there were 10 bears, and then they had 10 giants. So you'll see here, we have the Lawrence Taylor 1988, or yeah, sorry, 1989. And then we have the Lawrence Taylor 1990 for the next year. And so the Giants, and then the other team that they featured was the Washington Redskins, which gave us a Mark Rippian rookie card, as well as a card for him a year later. You know, obviously he went on to a nice Super Bowl victory with the, at the time, Washington Redskins. So that's an example there of the beginning of Action Packed. They went on to produce cards in the 90s. Along with these action-packed uh, cards, they also had a, an all-Madden team set that was very cool. They were known for two things primarily as far as what made them stand out. And one was cards like this. This is a Jim Plunkett 1990 action-packed Braille card. Uh, and what it says right there is Raiders win the Super Bowl. Jim Plunkett was named MVP. And uh, I have the, I, I purchased the box set back in the day, or I should say my parents did for me probably for a gift, I would think. Um, and it came with this right here. First ever action-packed football card, complete 28 team set. And it mentions there, uh, in addition, this set contains one Jim, Blunk, Jim Plunkett Braille card, the first Braille sports trading card ever issued. So just a little back note there, that here's Jim Plunkett's rookie card. Uh, Jim Plunkett's parents were both blind, and so that was a, a big factor there in selecting him to have that first Braille sports card. They would go on to make more Braille cards, and these are a few that I picked up in packs. Uh, so Hall of Fame, and I have a few more too, but this right here is a Thurman Thomas, which says you know 91 AFC rushing leader. And I also picked up in a pack this Michael Irvin, another Hall of Famer. He was the 91 NFC receiving leader, as well as this Emmett Smith. Definitely a nice card here as the NFC rushing leader for 1991. So this right here is an example of some of the subsets you could get. And the other ones that were super nice is that you could get gold cards, 24 karat gold. Now this one I did not pull. I purchased this off eBay. It's one of my favorite players of the time, James Brooks. And these were numbered. Uh, you'll see down here, this was number 6 out of 500. The very sharp cards there. Uh, so that's, you know, what you would hope to get. Um, I know that there were some years where instead of having the card completely in gold, there'd just be a little 24 karat gold foil right here. And maybe a strip, I don't remember, but yeah, very nice looking cards. So what we have for today is we have a handful of 1992, we'll be looking for 24 karat gold stamped cards, potentially, as well as braille cards. And then after that, we have a handful of 1990 action packed uh, series two. This is the rookie update series. And we're hoping to pull an Emmett Smith rookie out of here. So I'll tell you, I did a pro set video a while back uh, opening up some cards, and I, I showed off uh, the Emmett Smith Pro Set rookie, and then I showed you know kind of his other rookies of the time. And shout out to Haas of Cards who reminded me there was also an action-packed rookie card of Emmett. 
uh, and you'll see that right here. And this is a really nice rookie to get. You know that that would be for me one of the one of the better rookies of his. Now uh, I had forgotten about this because I only have one Emmett Smith card, and it was in the book with my football card set. So I. Uh, didn't even think of it. It didn't even occur to me. So that was part of my motivation in buying a few packs. I thought, you know, it might be fun to try to get another Emmett Smith that way. Uh, one that I can uh, put in my book, or sorry, uh, put in a uh, top loader to have with the others. Now these may stick together a little. We'll kind of see. Just a, just a bit, not much, which is good. Okay, so very nice. We've got Steve Young. Played his college ball in my home state of Utah at BYU. Sean Gale of the Bears. Ezra Tuaolu. Myron Guyton. Nate Lewis. And Brian Jordan, who also played pro baseball. All right. Next up, here's a good one. A lot of Hall of Famers in this set as well. So we've got a John Elway, Eric Kramer, Nick Bell, we've got a Terry Allen for the Vikings, Mark Ingram, that's Mark Ingram Sr., whose son we know well for the Saints and the Ravens, and a Ricky Reynolds for Tampa Bay. The Super Bowl champs this year. Or as some call them now, Tampa Bay. All right. Next up, Hall of Famer, the late, great Derek Thomas. I loved Derek Thomas. Tim McKayer. Wendell Davis, Chicago Bears. Hall of Famer, Steve Atwater. Mark Super Duper of the Dan Marino Miami Dolphins. And Kevin Mack. He was a big guy. All right. Or at least he played big. Hey, look at this. If you're going to get duplicates, here's a good one to get. Another John Elway. Okay, so we're going to probably see the same pack here, potentially, as the last one. When I was a kid, I used to love getting duplicates because I didn't realize how overproduced cards were in the early 90s and I figured the more I had the better because I always would want to keep one for myself but if I had five six seven of a great card Hall of Famer late great Cortez Kennedy but if I had five six cards of the same player and it turned out he was great then I wouldn't feel bad selling a handful of those so turns out uh, there are a lot of people with five six seven eight or Maybe even five, six, seven, eight hundred of these. <laughs> Vince Newsom and Todd Marinovich. I was hoping he was going to be good. He just didn't really amount to much. He was a. Uh, he wrote me back when I was a kid. I wrote a letter to him, and and he wrote me back. So I, I was really rooting for him. Unfortunately, just yeah, it didn't really work out. Ken Harvey had quite a few good years. Von Johnson. Another Vince Newsom and another Tom Murnich. So, yeah, pretty crazy, right? I've only had a handful of packs, and we've already seen not just a duplicate card, but duplicate packs altogether. All right, we've got Lewis Oliver. <laughs> okay, speaking of duplicates, very well done. Lewis Oliver, uh, Dennis Smith. All right, we've got a Michael. Oh, hey, how cool is this? Okay, here's a Braille card. So I already showed off this card, but now I have two of this, and honestly... I'm happy with that. So, Hall of Famer, Michael Irvin, Braille card. Very nice. Uh, Steve Broussard and Bill Brooks. And the only reason I even knew, other than kind of remembering that card a moment ago, but, you you know, you, it's easy to feel that on the back of the back of the card. And speaking of, that, you know, that's one thing about this set that set it apart. Uh, you can see here, I'll use this uh, Rodney Holman, for example, um, it had, you know, kind of a, a popped out 3D effect to the card. So, you know, you could kind of get that. And, and uh, on the back here, they had this little line here as a, uh, a place for players to sign their autograph. At least that's what I was told. And I, I'm pretty sure I've heard, I've heard other people mention that as well. 
Chris Dishman, and then Bart Oates, another BYU guy from my home state. Oh boy, holy cow. Okay, so here we go, I'm afraid. Yeah, so this is, I think, our third pack of this, right? Man, okay. Well, let's hope that every one of these has a uh, Emmett Smith rookie card in it, huh? Are you serious? This is hilarious. You guys feel a little deja vu here? And then so? So, that's pretty crazy, right? I mean, I remember this kind of stuff happening to some extent, but not this bad. Holy cow. All right, well, if anybody needs a Cortez Kennedy card, hit me up. Uh, Joe Phillips. Lamar Lathan. Oh, I love this guy, Art Monk. Definitely one of my favorites as a kid. Really, really like the way he played. Just super awesome receiver there. Uh, Larry Roberts, Albert Lewis, and a Calvin Williams. Okay, last pack of the 1992 stuff. So that's, that's really cool we got a Braille card. Oh, wow. Seriously. You know, at this point, I'm just going to embrace it. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, so I'll have to just watch this video later and see how many of those packs were... What did I get? 12 packs? There had to have been at least four, maybe five of them were that Cortez Kennedy pack. <laughs> okay, so here are the, here's the good stuff, though. Okay, we got first-round draft picks, top-rated rookies. Uh, ooh, a 900 hotline. Always good. All right. So what we're hoping for here is Emmett Smith rookie card. There are some other good ones as well. And although most of you will not care about this card, uh, I am a Scott Mitchell fan. He went to the University of Utah, played for Miami, then went on to the Lions. And even though it didn't work out for the Lions the way a lot of people probably hoped, he had one just massive season. I don't remember which one, but go look at his stats. It was, it was pretty impressive. So anyway, he was on, uh, what was it, um, The Biggest Loser one year a few years back he also wrote a book i met him a few years ago so i wrote to him as a kid and he sent me back a, a black and white glossy photo and when i met him at a book signing a couple years ago i had i mentioned that to him and said would that have been you who sent that out or do you guys have like assistants or people who did that and he said no that would have been me but i thought that was kind of cool all right so scott mitchell rookie go utes Anthony Johnson rookie card and you'll notice the little R up here with the helmet to let you know if it's a rookie Leroy Butler Rookie uh, He's the first player to do the Lambo lead uh, We might get a Shannon Sharp rookie in here as well Alton Montgomery Rob Moore had a couple good years and Ooh, so you'll see that's kind of that that one uh, had a little bit of stick right there. Rodney Hampton rookie, who was also a really good running back for the Giants for a few years. All right, this is interesting. Check this out. Um, can you guys see that? It's it's basically cracked. I've never seen a card like that. So that's a Randall Cunningham. Uh, and this one, I think, has a little bit of it as well. Broderick Thomas. You know, if you can pull a... Uh, if you can get a, a grade-worthy Emmett Smith, I think the PSA 10s actually sell quite well. But especially when they've been in the packs for this long, see so more cracking here. Now I have this set, and none of the cards are cracked, but you know they've been opened and uh, um, you know basically in a, in a book of a book of cards ever since. So. Maybe, I don't know what kind of conditions these packs were in, but... All right, Pat Terrell, rookie. Chris Chandler for Tampa Bay. Chris Warren, who ended up having a few Pro Bowl seasons. He was actually really good. Um, and then we've got an Everson Walls, who I think should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Spent most of his career with the Cowboys, but won a Super Bowl with the Giants. And then an Oliver Barnett rookie card. Okay, two more packs. Let's see if we can maybe pull an Emmett. Got a Stacy Simmons. Greg McMurtry. 
Harlan Barnett. And we've got an Anthony Smith. So, <laughs> speaking of people, I wrote to him. He wrote me back as well, signed some autographs. Uh, sad, and he was good for a little while, but sadly he turned out to be not such a good dude. You can check into him if you'd like. And then an Andre Ware, uh, Heisman Trophy winner, drafted by the Lions. It really made sense to think that he and Barry were just going to be awesome together for years. And then Andre Ware just could barely even crack the starting lineup and just didn't really do much. And the late Reggie Cobb, rookie card right there. Okay, one more pack. Would love to get a, an Emmett Smith, but we'll see. Okay, so we've got this uh, Walter Wilson rookie card. Dexter Carter rookie. Chris Calloway rookie. Billy Joe Tolliver. Tony Eason for the Jets. I remember when he was on the Patriots getting beat up by the Bears back in 85. He and Steve Grogan. And a Johnny Johnson rookie card. So no no Emmett today, unfortunately. But as insurance, I actually did purchase a, <laughs> an Emmett Smith that is on the way eventually. Uh, so I will have a duplicate, but would have been fun to pull one, but that's okay. Anyway, I hope you guys liked that video. I would say definitely my, my best card today was the Michael Irvin Braille card. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and taking a look back at some action-packed football cards and uh, stay tuned for more videos in the near future. Thanks everybody.